Hey everybody, we got another TechBiz tutorial. We're doing some more Dreamweaver action today. Making web pages. We're not really making a web page today, but we're learning about how to add a few multimedia elements to our page. Uh, these things could be useful if you wanted to make like a tutorial page or wanted to display some video or maybe make like a portfolio type page for your site. So with all that kind of said and done, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, Dreamweaver is open, ready to go. I did create a folder in here. I'm just calling it Multimedia, uh, and that's where I'm going to save this project to. So I'll go to Create New, and for the title, I'm just going to call this Multimedia, and I will click Create. Alright, and we have this site in here. This looks pretty good. Normally, too, uh, we'll, you know, kind of make this dressed up like a page, but I just want to show you these couple of elements uh, that can easily be fit into any page. So we're just going to kind of put this into just a plain, regular page for this uh, to kind of cut this tutorial a little bit shorter for you all as well. And then you can kind of use this information to apply to your other projects. Uh, and then maybe later we'll make a site that has all of this in it um, and put it all together that way. So I should go up to site and new site. And I'm going to select my multimedia folder and click on select folder. And I will call it multimedia. and file save as index.html and save so here we go we're ready to get started this is pretty cool because you know when we do regular web design and html and css i always try to find the next easiest way to teach how to make a basic slideshow and you know to get people to be excited about using these slideshows in their in their projects and they're always a little bit more work or troubleshooting than what you need and this is probably one of the cooler things of Dreamweaver really making our lives easier alright so uh, I'm gonna go down here into the body section for this and I am gonna put in and if I do this properly you know if I go up here to insert and I go in and insert. I'm just going to put in a. Oh, let's see. I'm just going to put in a article right here. All right, and then I'm going to hit enter a couple times, and then I'm going to put in another article. All right, and one of these we're going to use for a video embedding. And the other one we're going to use for the slideshow. All right, so this top one here, this article, I'm going to highlight the text in there that says content for a new article. All right, I'm going to backspace that out. I want to go back up here to insert. And instead of selecting any of these things in here from, from our HTML tab, for the first time in this course, we're going to select something else up here and we're going to go to where it says bootstrap components. We'll be talking more in depth about bootstrap later. All right, but this is pretty cool. One of the items they have in here is called a carousel. All right. And so if I go up here and click on carousel, it puts all this stuff in here already. And then you'll look at these tabs. My gosh, we have source code, we have bootstrap 441, we have a jQuery, we have uh, popper.min.js, and we have bootstrap up there again as a dot uh, js. Pretty crazy. And we see these new things up here, which are media queries, which we'll learn more about when we get into responsive web design. But instead of us having to know what any of those are, it automatically puts all of that in there for us right now alright so right now the first thing I want to do is I want to go to file 
and save all and it's going to say hey all these things we want to put them in your web folder so I'm going to click OK I did that and just to take a look see in here back in this folder look at all this we got in our multimedia we have these other folders that are in there now they weren't there before all right we got one for images we got our JS and we got our CSS file pretty cool so if I want to take a look at this right now and then here it says content so this is our page it is already responsive and that's pretty awesome in itself and you got this cool sliding carousel slideshow you can click on these little buttons to navigate through that or you can go through and click the arrow and go back right there they put one image in there for us already so if I go here into my images folder you'll see they have this picture called carousel placeholder dot PNG and so we'll keep note of that uh, with our project now let's say I want to add I'm gonna go up one level to where or two levels to where I have some pictures saved all right and so on my image practice um, that we did before I'm just gonna take a couple of these images that are close to the same size all right and I'm gonna copy those pictures and I want to go here into my uh, multimedia site folder go to images and I'm gonna paste those in there you can just take any pictures you have saved and uh, right now it doesn't matter on the size because I just want to illustrate something to you with this um, so here we go I'm back to Dreamweaver uh, I have these here inside that images folder all right and if I look in here let me maximize my screen here so you can see what I'm talking about and if I scroll down uh, we have these different elements on here all right first of all these buttons here that we clicked on those aren't just buttons those are list items it's an unordered list and we'll learn more about and if you've taken web one with me you've learned about how to take unordered lists and make them into navigation menus it's the same kind of thing with this here all right um, we have our first picture and we have two more let's say we want to add more to this instead of just having three pictures all right then what I would do is up here on my carousel indicators I'm just gonna select this list item doesn't matter which one really all right I'm gonna control C it to copy and then I'm gonna press enter and paste this after that list item but before the end of the of the ordered list all right so we have those in there and the spacing's fine all right the one thing I will want to do is where it says data slide 2 I do want to change that number to 3 okay we start with number 0 and that's our first slide and then 1 is our second slide 2 is our third slide so it's kind of a weird numbering uh, but you'll just you'll be able to figure it out when you see that okay so we will now now you can see up here we have four buttons right we got four buttons to select on there uh, so you can you can modify this to do it however you want okay for for this to be uh, the next thing I want to do is to uh, go down to where we have these sections all right these are our slides from the slideshow so what I can do here is let's say I'm gonna leave the first image is the one they gave us in there all right and then if I go down to the second one I'm gonna go here to source and my pictures were saved as PNGs okay so I'm gonna backspace that part out and you'll notice if I do that it's gonna give me an option to select any of those other pictures I have saved in that folder that's pretty convenient or if if sometimes for weird reasons computers do stupid things that might not show up then you would just type in whatever the name of the picture is that's in that images folder all right and that's why I name mine easy things to remember just in case that doesn't show up so I put in images halloween.png all right and then 
Here I could say, here it says second slide heading, second slide captions. I can change this text to have it be whatever I want to say, and then the caption underneath, I could change that to whatever I want. So if this was a portfolio, maybe line one uh, or the heading is going to be like whatever the title of the of the evidence is or the title of the piece of work is and then the paragraph underneath it the caption is going to be possibly my reflection or what I was trying to do with that work what I was trying to illustrate so uh, you know I could have a bunch of applications to it but that is totally modifiable and we know all about H5 in paragraph text so that's uh, our second slide we're pretty good with that uh, this one right here we go down to the third slide and this is the alternate text and I want to change this picture alright and so I'm going to select this text here in between the images in the dot PNG and see this time it doesn't show up there like it did earlier right so this time I'm going to choose and I start typing in Thanksgiving and then it says oh now I know what you're talking about and it shows it right there I can click on it if it didn't show up I would just finish typing in thanksgiving.png and then it would work alright and so here I'm just gonna just to show you just to illustrate that this does change it you know I, for H5 I'm gonna say Thanksgiving alright and then down here uh, for the paragraph I'm gonna select this text and I'm just gonna type in here pumpkin pie at Thanksgiving is the best. All right. All right. So save my progress here. And now, because I wanted a fourth slide in there, I want to find uh, this last one here, which is this this div. Okay. And then I want to go up to. Oops. I'm sorry. I want to go, I want to start up here where the carousel item is. All right. And when I select down after that, you can you can select those and then paste it however you want to in there, right? So selecting this part and I just want to make sure I have everything in there. I have both divs accounted for because this one here, yep, all right. And then this one here goes to the top one. Carousel item, all right. And then the same down here. So I have this one here, and then this one in includes that. All right, so I'm going to select this. Darn it. All right, and I'm going to copy that, and then when I go to the end of this carousel, here's the last one there, all right, and this is the one that closes the carousel item. So I'm going to put this in between, double check, um, yeah, I'm going to put it after this div, but before this div right here, all right and I'm going to paste this in there and it's going to just show the Halloween one in there twice that's fine you know if I if I added another picture into that folder I could have but just to save time and so I am going to change my alternate text on this one to fourth slide go to save all alright and now when I refresh my page on here Let's take a look and see if this works. All right, so here's our second slide. That works. Here's our third. And then the fourth goes to a fourth slide. It says second slide here, but I didn't change that text. So I should do that here just to illustrate that it's working. Um, so right here where it says, I will type in fourth slide heading and for slide caption file save all alright now let me go back here refresh my page 
slide one all right and there it is slide two all right we have it on there good slide three this is my change text and if I wanted to I could always go into my style sheet and change the color of that text on there you know if if you're using a lighter picture maybe you want to use black for your typeface if you're using a darker picture maybe you want to use a lighter color all right and then we go to our fourth slide heading fourth slide caption all right and again when I resize that it stretches all the way across to the side now here's the one thing that I would caution you about all right and I told you I didn't resize these images because I kind of wanted to illustrate something you'll notice this first picture it says first slide heading first slide caption and then you go here and it makes it smaller so because this is responsive that's going to adjust and you really don't want that on your page so what I would do if you're making some kind of a carousel I would create all of those images or crop them or what have you and keep them all the same size so that way you know when we scroll through here this is pretty convenient you know and then I go here and because that first picture is taller it slides that that arrow down you know and it doesn't look as nice or if I am down here and I'm navigating this way and this looks pretty good oh now it jumps all the way down here see what I'm saying it's kinda of sloppy so when you make your carousel have all the images be the same size uh, the one that they used I believe was 400 by 600 but I mean you could use about anything that you want as long as they're the same uh, so when I go here yeah 600 by 400 uh, was their uh, dimensions for their picture on there so something to uh, kind of keep in mind uh, to make sure that those are all kind of the same size in the specific um, carousel for that all right that's the first thing that we have uh, at the end of that article I'm just gonna put in here you know if I go back up here to H and if I select after that after that div but before the end of the article that contains my carousel I'm gonna insert a horizontal rule here sometimes that won't show up I've had people tell me that didn't show up on theirs and I'm not sure why and so if you need to type it in your code it's just HR in your brackets and you don't have to use it for the page for this but uh, because we're gonna embed a video at the end I didn't want the video to be flush with this here and I kinda wanted to separate these as two different elements in our page so that's kind of what we're gonna do um, so that's where that is uh, the next thing I have is in this article uh, if I go back up here to my source code and we're we're down here now to our second uh, article of our web page and this information down here is all the stuff that it added for our other uh, elements in there all right so don't worry about that don't erase that that's supposed to be there that's what Dreamweaver put in there for us to create this carousel and in this article I'm gonna backspace this information this time I want to embed a video so the easiest way to do this you know probably actually if I would also put in a paragraph in here as well or I could give this article a class but just for what I'm doing I'll I'll have this be a paragraph and um, I want to embed a YouTube video alright so I'm just gonna go to my YouTube page here and I'm gonna put a tech biz tutorial video inside of a tech biz tutorial video we're gonna break this space-time continuum with this I'll go to share and there's this embed link okay so I'm gonna click that and uh, when I click inside this little area you know I can copy it or I can click down here go to copy 
All right, and now when I go back here to my Dreamweaver and I paste that link in there, it's going to put in an iframe element. All right, now with the iframe, you can change the size of that and do some different things. Uh, but what I'm going to do for this one, I'm going to keep this the same size uh, because so it usually works a little bit better. And then also what I want to do after the paragraph but before the article I'm going to insert another horizontal rule in there just to kind of be consistent all right and if I look at this to make sure it's showing up in here all right so we have the video there that's good and then um, I am also going to select this paragraph that's inside that article go to my CSS designer and I'm going to add a selector. All right. And click on it here. Actually, I don't want to select all the paragraphs. That would be that would be very bad. So what I want to do is I just want to select the one right here. Sorry about that. So I have this one selected. And we have all these in here to pick from this. I will tell you what. This one here that I have saved is. So I'm going to go up here to uh, add a CSS source. And I'm going to create a new one for this because my other one is read only. So I'm not going to be able to make any adjustments to that at this time. So I'm going to create a new one like I have done in the past. All right. And then. Uh, I'm going to go to browse and I'm going to have this in my multimedia folder and I'm just going to call this one um, MM Styles. All right, then I'm going to click OK. Normally it would be best if I had all of this in the same CSS file, but where this one it created a separate one, um, it'll be fine to have, a, to have this be on its own. And now what I can do is if I go to this article, then up here, when I go to my CSS designer, I have my bootstrap one up here, which is read only. And I also have this MS styles. Now I can click selectors and it's going to let me add that one in there. So I'll just have to have it on its own one. And uh, here I'm going to use text align center. All right, and then file, save all. And when I look in here at my page, then I have this kind of centered in the middle. And then when you click on that, it'll go to your page for that. So these are two multimedia elements that you can use to make your page a little more interactive. Uh, sometimes it can save space instead of having a ton of pictures just one after another have them in a carousel uh, to where they can go through or the user can kind of slide through those and, and look at all the images and also if you want to put in video in there uh, you can do the same with that as well um, and again you can change the size of those in your CSS uh, you can make the width of those be different and the reason again why I had to make it a second CSS file uh, was because if I had just said make the make all of the paragraphs do the same thing all these paragraphs up here for my captions would have behaved the same for down here which I might not necessarily want so that's why I changed that just to have it be separate so play around with this uh, see what different ways you can kind of customize this uh, so with this carousel and uh, hopefully this is kind of an easy tutorial to follow along and just going back here and looking in your folder and seeing these other files and all these scripts and all this coding that we would have had to do on our own to make that from scratch Dreamweaver did it for us so 
Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next video.